Now let's switch from assembly to C. C is a whole lot friendlier than assembly. The advantage of C is you can write code much more quickly. Disadvantage is the code is three to 10 times larger. To start out, we'd like to make a light blink. This will count on port C about once per second. To start out, if you go to MP Lab, go through Project Wizard just like we did before. Still put pick 18 at 4620. Now, however, the language we'll be using is the Universal Tool Suite. That's the C compiler we use in this, uh, this class. I like to have a different directory for every file. So here I'm going to have one called count. I'm just going to count on port C, but one count per second. What works a little bit better is it's easier to modify an existing code than starting from scratch. If you go to Python Academy, you can click on one of the C programs, like this guy, Clock. Let's do count. This is a program that just counts on port C. The start of the program is you need this include file, include pick18.h. That tells the C compiler what is port A, port B, port C. Port A, port B, port C, names like that are non-standard C. That's specific to this processor. In C, the standard format is to first have your global variables. Here we aren't using any. Your subroutines. This is a wait routine. It's just going to wait a thousand counts for no reason other than to waste some time. It'll do that anywhere between 0 and 65,000 times, basically burn a whole bunch of clocks. The main routine is almost like it was in assembly. You first have to declare your variables. Tell it that port A, B, C, D, E are output. Those are the trist commands. Everybody's binary, and let's start from 0. Um, I'm just going to count, in this case, on port D, one count per second. If it is a second equals second plus one, it's going to increment seconds. Copy seconds over to port D, and wait. This is a subroutine. It's going to wait past the number 1,000. 1,000 comes in data, so it's going to wait 1,000 times 1,000 clocks. Basically wasting time. To compile this, you need to go under Build Options, Project, Make sure your code is offset by 800. Again, the bootloader takes up the low 800 spots in memory. Your C code has to start at 800 on up. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything else we need. OK. Now if I build again, project build. get this message. What this tells you is how large your program is. Each instruction is 16 bits or 2 bytes, so my code compiled to 125 bytes of assembly. I'm using up 10 spots of RAM. When I compiled it, I created a file. There's a couple of them I created. If you look up uh, count.list, Let's see, there it is, count.list. This is the corresponding assembly code. When you compile a C program, it gets converted to assembly. This is the memory locations of your ports. That comes from the include pick.h. Your code is over here. Each line of assembly or C gets converted to assembly. For example, tris a equals zero was these two lines of assembly. Move 0 to W, move W to address 3986, which is where Tris A is located. Tris B equals 0, gets converted to two lines of assembly, and so on. When I say 80 con 1 is 15, it moves the number 15 to W, W to address 4033, that's 80 con 1. 
on the other file that you created is a list file. Count.list. Oops. Actually, is the hex file. This is the actual program. There's machine code. This tells the processor what to do. To download your code, you can go to hyperterminal, hit reset, and before you get to zero, hit enter. That blew out the old program, waiting for a new one. I'm going to send a text file from the directory I put it in. Here it is, count.hex. There's your program as I'm downloading it. Then that result is I'm now counting on port D. If I want to make this one count per second, what I'll need to do is modify my code. Essentially this wait routine, this isn't quite right. This isn't quite one millisecond per wait. If I measure on the oscilloscope how long it takes to count, I can adjust this number and try to get it so that it's one count every millisecond. When it passes the number thousand, it waits one second. C is slightly different than assembly. In assembly, you can actually count instructions. C, I can't do that because I don't know how the C is going to comp get compiled into assembly. So likewise, I don't know exactly how long each instruction is going to take. But using an oscilloscope, you can measure it. Uh, with that, you can now download a code and build a binary clock. How to modify the code so that seconds appears on port D, minutes on port B, hours and days. We'll leave for a homework assignment.